Hi guys, it's Erica from Stampanore. These are new portrait stamps. I just thought I'd show you the quality of them and them stamped out. So I'm going to stamp this little lady out for you to see. I'm using... I always get this mixed up. I'm using this paper. So it's watercolour paper, but it's um, it's not textured. So it's hot press. So you can use your watercolour on the paper without it curling. So let's get this little lady in position and I'll show you how fine the detail is. In the line work, I asked my manufacturers would they make the line work more thinner? I think that would be fine. And they have done, and they've so not let me down. It's fantastic. So I'm going to go in um, with the black, I think. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. See if I can zoom in. Look at the detail on the, on the lines of that. It's just amazing. The detail detail here so happy with them so this is what a wonderful world stamp this is part part of the mother nature collection as well The line work and detail in this is fantastic. I'll just show you. So I'm not going to do all the little fillers for now. I'm going to do that when I do my watercolour in a bit. So I'm going to do another video on that. But let me just show you the detailing in these first. Can you see that? Wow. So lovely. So this is the Welcome to My World stamp. This was what the first drawing that I did in this collection. The detail in this is beautiful. I try not to be so heavy handed because I really don't think you need to be with these stamps but because I've not been doing it that long it's a little bit trial and error with me so if anyone's got any tips that would be mega so let me just get that little bit in there
so much detail in this one. Again, a little bit more there. That is gorgeous. What I love about this, and this really, really shows the manufacturer um, quality, is I did ask for really, really thin lines, so it represented my artwork. Look what they've done here. Look how fine them lines are. And they don't merge together when you do the stamping. But look at that. I know it's probably not the perfect stamp. I'm sure you can do better, but look at the detail. It's exactly like my drawing this. So lovely. Yeah, and that one's welcome to my world. So these are the four ladies that are used in this collection of the Mother Nature collection. It's launching on Create and Craft on the 1st of March. <coughs> so this one's bright, bright and beautiful. And I've got some, the, some of these um, are actual fillers. And I've also done some additional um, dandelions. They're not dandelions, are they the daffodils? <laughs> dandelions. I might do dandelions another time. But yeah. Look at the little bee. bee. So that is the bright and beautiful. This one is What a Wonderful World. With this one, I've got some fillers that are filigree so you can elongate this and you can make it into different shapes I've got some nice fillers for this stamp but look at the running hair but yeah I'm so happy you know with the detail so that one is what a wonderful world this one is bright eyed and bushy tailed. Detail. <laughs> Again in the tree. Wow. And this one's welcome to my world. So I've not used the fillers. I've got some lovely fillers to go with these stamps. I'm going to do some watercolour on these and I'm going to add the fillers. So I'm going to do another video of that. So you'll be able to see the fillers and the sentiments as well. I've got some beautiful sentiments to go with this. And this little guy here, um, I have an, another rabbit that goes with it that you can position wherever you want. So yeah, that's it for the Mother Nature collection. They're all A5 stamps and they're showcasing on Create and Craft on the 1st of March. See you very soon. Take care.